is the Cato Diet Plan for Beginners and today we are going to walk you through some step-by-step -step tutorials to get you started on a lifelong weight journey. Remember, this isn't a lose weight quick scheme, this is forever. Right now you probably just want to know what you need to eat, how much you should work out, and what foods you need to avoid. All of these components are important. But honestly, the most important thing you can do is truly understand how your body works, which we will get to after I give you what you want. Kato Diet Plan for Beginners I am also working to share personal success stories on my blog. If you are planning to start this Kato Diet, please take before pictures, progress pictures, keep a food diary, and keep track of your weight and measurements. Then when you are ready, maybe at your halfway point, or once you reach your goal weight, you can send me your results for me to share with others. Kato Diet Plan for Beginners Stats Know Your Body 1. The first thing you need to do before starting the plan is to figure out where you are right now. Weigh and measure yourself. While BMI calculators are not the best means for figuring out your body fat, most of us don't have the money to have this done professionally. You need to know these stats. Weight. It is best to weigh first thing in the morning. Fully new. This will help you keep up with your true weight before eating and without clothing. Height. Hopefully you know this, but who knows, maybe you've grown. Hips. Stand with your feet about 4 inches apart and measure the widest part of your hips. Calf. Place your weight on your dominant leg and measure your calf at its widest part. About halfway between your knee and ankle. Thigh. Stand with your feet about 12 inches apart. Measure your upper thigh at the widest part wrist. Measure in the dip between the bony part of your wrist and the start of your hand. Forearm. Tense your muscle and measure the largest part of your forearm. 2. Now you need to do a little learning before we move any further. Start by learning a bit more about ketosis itself. In the pitfalls you need to watch out for. I love bodybuilding.com and think that this article on the Kato diet is perfect for beginners. So go check it out, unless you are planning to start bodybuilding part. 3. Now that you have the information you need about your body's present condition and info on ketosis, head over to this Kato calculator tutorial and figure out how many grams of carbohydrates, fat, and protein you need each day to lose weight. These numbers are critical so don't forget to write them down. I keep a piece of paper pinned to my wall so I can easily see them when planning meal. 4. So, how are you feeling? Are you excited to see the numbers behind what you will be eating? You should be, because you are about to discover how you can lose weight and still enjoy foods that taste amazing. This is going to be the last big project you complete before we get to the actual food. 5. By now you should know both where you are and where you want to be. Those are the first steps. Now it's time to start planning your meals. You can use these food lists to help you figure out what kinds of foods you should be eating. Remember this is not a diet plan that has an end date. This is a lifestyle change that you will pass on to your children.